good morning and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog so today is on friday um i have help at the office as usual i want to first of all go and fuel this car i'm moving with one bar like even my fuel light is on that was a stooky so yeah i think i need to first uh, go fuel i need to pass by neighbors to go and get greens to last us for this month last month i didn't do um shopping for greens because i decided what to jaribu with my share cooing things and it wasn't the easiest um so because of that i decided this time around i'm not gonna do that um I'm going to just buy enough greens to last us the whole month. I also need to do my shopping for the month conclusively. I have bought majority of the things. There are some things that I haven't bought yet because I feel like anytime I go to like a supermarket, there's a brand I'm not getting or there's just have been too small, small to issues. And that's why I haven't done that. But I think I'm going to do that this weekend. I'm going to do that this weekend and be done with my shopping and then uh, we can do the monthly shopping video this weekend. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. So what you want to need any fuel? Need you how are Dorime girls? Because yo 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 yo. But you know now there's nothing much you can do even if the fuel price is so high you still need to use the car you will still refill you will still refill you will still refill uh fuel even oh Woo. you will still refill the fuel even after emisha so that's why i'm like there's no point in uh so you just jaza tank ikisha top up again as in yeah hi yes. it's africa it's africa it's africa yes. ni jaza it's jaza okay. yeah right now i have used uh 2000 shillings almost 2000 shillings more than what i got by to fill up the car that tells you something now mshahara hayongezeki this world has just become so unfair the economy is so bad it's getting worse things are expensive nothing seems to be going down oh <laughs> A bad hope, so yeah, we might as well just place ourselves. Can we put the lights? Where I was thinking, or where my head was. Oh, okay, now I'm Ameruka. Me and your Missouri, I think. Anyway, yeah, so I have already gotten the bumbogas. Uh, I think. I think I'm going to pass by Kafo or something. The good thing, by the way, as much as okay, I might not be, and this is not like a paid thing, but uh, Kafo has one thing that always, as in, they usually just like come through. There is no time to be looking for something now, course, which is sorry which is great so these are the veggies that i got um i have some saga here i really love these um bogazaki nyuji i have some skuma i have some nago um i have some kunde some more saga um i have spinach over there skuma and some plantains I also managed to stop by my Mboga and got some 
green bell peppers some tomatoes and some zucchini i think this is enough um for us for like two weeks so this is all the shopping for this month i feel like this is enough to last us a month and a half if not two because i feel like i bought extras of a lot um you can also see i got tissues again and i still have like five or six packs unopened in the bedroom so i think maybe we have enough tissues to last us the whole month which is great um so i want to put you on a time lapse so that i can remove all these things from the packages because i realize anytime i'm talking and um unpacking them my voice disappears into the noise and the noise i think is also annoying and i still don't have a very good um microphone because i'm still recording with my phone so i figured today i'm going to do things differently unpack um on a time lapse and then we can talk about what i got after unpacking so let me put you up and then we can start because so we can start by the milk i got this time i got four cartons but we've already opened one i also got one whole daima i want to try it and see um if there's any difference from it uh and brookside so got four uh we opened one yesterday it's on the pantry yeah so let me unpack these others i'm going to put foodstuffs on one side and cleaning supplies on the rest uh, the cleaning supplies are going to go on top of the freezer and then countertop is um, supply um, what is it called food 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 items So now that I have unpacked everything, now we can start. Um, I think I'll always just be buying tissues. Tissues. I think if there is, if there are things that have gone up so drastically that any any time you bump into it and you find like it's somewhat affordable, you buy it. So that is why I am right now. So things like cooking oil, things like um, tissue, those two things actually are the ones that really went up and shocked all of us. So anytime I get tissue that is slightly um, cheaper than what I would normally buy on a regular day without any discounts, without any promos or anything of that sort, I buy. So I got these ones from Carrefour. Um, 
I think they were being sold for like 300 or less. So I got two, I got the pink one and the white one. Um, I also got, I, the last shopping that I did, I got Hanan Premium Tissues and they are really, really nice. I love them. I would prefer them more than, of course, the regular Hanan. So when I saw these ones, I think I've never really um, checked on the shelves when I went to buy, what is this called, kitchen towels, enough for me to notice that they also have the premium version of the, uh, of the kitchen towels. So this time I've got the value pack yes super silver pack the hanan premium kitchen towels i'm excited to try these ones out um i got some cotton baby soap i'm in love with this lotion i think i have one bottle left that i haven't opened but uh Kapo had enough on this so i got them i got two bottles i got um hair mousse this is hair food, the TCB one, and also a mega, go mega growth deep strengthening treatment. I don't have a deep uh, conditioning treatment, so I decided to get one for, um, for now. I got also some sunscreen and one lip balm. Uh, our regular supplies, a uh, downy. This is the. Um, 1.38 liters, um, some projects for Ella. This is Motin Doom, um, the one that you plug in. I also had to get one of these because the one that we had, Ella decided to dip it in candle wax. So um, that Kathini was blocked or something like that. So we decided, we tried to remove the wax, but it didn't work. We just refused to light up again. So I decided to get another one. Somewhere it's now become a towel because it's useless. Uh, got some soft care wipes, some Omo, um, an extra pair of tooth toothbrush, the 360 one. Uh, got some, a bit some pegs, and then I saw this one from a YouTuber. It's called Swirl Tumble Dryer Sheets Long Lasting Fragrance. Um, let me just read how to use it because I've never used it. This is my first time. So, soil fabric conditioner sheets, especially designed for your tumble dryer. I don't have a dryer, so that is out. They help freshen and protect your clothes, towels, and beddings from creasing and static cleaning. The sheets will add a long lasting fresh fragrance to your clothes. So, directions to use. Load the tumble dryer with garments to be dried. Ah, so this is this makes sense when you have a dryer. Place one sheet on top of the garments. For larger loads, two sheets may be required. Select the appropriate drying program and start drying. Once the program has completed, remove garments and dispose of the tumble dryer sheet in household waste. So since I don't have a dryer, what I'm going to, to do is basically just um, place it in you see the way you have cushion covers you place it inside the cushion covers and let it stay there until you feel like it's not it's no longer producing any fresh scent and then you remove it and throw uh yeah i had not thought i would have needed a dryer but since i don't have one and i'm not going to let it go to waste i'm going to do that so i got this i got some three packs of sokoni film this is the OG in Stilway. I have never bought any other brand, or if I have, I have got those ones. Um, in my last, in my last video, I tried to clean my toilet with a very funny concussion, and it didn't work. So, uh, some viewers uh, advised me to get this LSF. So I got, <laughs> I don't know why I got two bottles of the same same thing. So this one is this one is 500 ml, I think. No, yeah, this is 500. This is 750. I don't know why I got two, but yeah, one of them read that it's just a cleaner because I got them from um, online. I didn't actually go to shop. One read like it's just a normal cleaner. The other one read like it's a stain remover of sorts. But I'm just seeing them right now, and I can see they're still same same thing. So I'm gonna try with these two and see if it's going to work. Um, 
I got some Menanga ice cream. I got three bags. These ones I think are going to last us for a month and a half because we still have a couple of pieces left. Um, our usual OG for washing, the floral scent. Uh, this one was on offer from Carrefour. It was 1600, uh, roughly 1700. And usually the price everywhere goes for 2150. So when I saw that, because they still have like a whole liter and a half remaining, and I figured that was a steal. I've never seen that kind of um, deal. So I decided to get one more. Um, got some baking soaps. I said I was going to move completely from the not. Uh, antibacterial soaps for a reason. I used to have some funny skin infections that kept coming back but since I started using the antibacterial soaps I've seen there has been a very big change so I decided if it's not that one it's this or any other soap that is that has antibacterial properties. So I got three of these ones um, and then I also mm -hmm. got this I have run out of it. No, not this one. This one looks like another bottle that I have but it's not a stain remover but this is a stain remover I already have one in powder form this is liquid this one I think I'll be using it to spot treat anything that has um, like a stain like a clear stain that I can spot treat immediately there's a curtain of there's a curtain there's my bedroom curtain that has some sort of um, foundation I don't know what the bee was doing but yeah it has foundation so I decided to get this because of that. I'll just spot treat it before I throw it inside the machine. So I got one of this. Um, I got this is the fabric re refresher. The last one that I got looked like this, so that's why I thought it was this one. So fabric re refresher. Uh, it doesn't have any particular scent. Uh, and the grease stripper. I think the one that we had is over. So. Yeah, and this one cleans the oven very, very well. So I got that. I also added this um, antibacterial power floor cleaner. So this what I'm planning to do with it is mostly clean the toilet because we still have um, a bit of floor cleaner left, the one from Velvet. So this one I'm going to use it majorly on the toilet because I bought a bottle of Velvex last time and it's just a bottle and it's almost over so this one I feel like it's value adding because it's going to stay and um, it's going to keep us for quite a long time. So uh, basically that is it for the cleaning uh, supplies section. Now we move on to food stuffs. Let me move you. Uh, so to the food supplies, I got um, I got four bottles of not bottles four cartons of milk. We've already opened one. Um, yeah, and I also decided to buy this different one. We're going to try it. I never uh, like intentionally bought Daima, but this time I didn't. So we're going to try that. I've also got some two um, two kgs of regular adjab flour and this is a surprise one also got um some og flour this is the sour porridge this is total asia and this is the pure windy porridge so for us we're going to make the sour one and the windy porridge and then this one is for ella i also got some this one i got this is, is this is um Cranberry crunch moesley. This one I got from Tampini. I also got some buns. Buns for hot dog buns. Um, what else? Some small snacks. Oreos for Ella. This is the rum and raisin. Um, hot peppers. I really, really love them. I don't know why. I've become hooked. I never used to like them, but now I do. I love them actually. So for those, um, this is Royco. And then my friend, the one that I usually 
lot. Uh, advise me to try this. So I got two pounds. Me, I don't know how to buy things in small, but in small um like quantities <laughs> because I was told to try. But when trying something, you probably just even buy like a small pack just to you know try. Not two, but uh, so yeah, we got two. I got um two have the ribbon because I realized we are really really going very fast for one pump. Also got this. This is what pineapple and uh, mint cider. I've never tried this. This is going to be my first time. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you how this one turn out. I have got uh, some chia seeds. We have run out of chia seeds. Um, I got this. This is Lion's Italian something something. It's a salad dressing. I got two bottles. Yeah, I want to start um, eating salads. The secret with salads is the dressing. If you if you hack on making a very good dressing, so eating eating salads is a work in the park. So I want to do that intentionally. And since and since I've decided to go on that journey, I bought two of this. Um, there are thousand islands for cappuccino. It's very nice. It's a very nice salad dressing. Also got burger sauce. Um, some hot and sweet chili sauce. What else? Some juices, mojitos, and um, mixed fruit. The go fruit one. Uh, some tomato paste. I think I got. I got. I, I got four of these. I also bought these, these ones are from Kafo. Uh, I think anytime we cook pasta, this is what I'm going to use because I feel like it's easier for her to cook herself with some pasta. I got two pasta here. Yeah. They're pretty. Um, yeah, these are the pretty. Milk for her. The one that I got last time was milk flavored, but I realized there are some flavors she doesn't like, especially the chocolate one. I don't know how my child doesn't like chocolate flavored milk. I mean, any other child would. I don't know, anyway. So, I realized she likes uh, vanilla and strawberry more, so I just got her these ones. I bought a kg of black beans. Um, this flower, the blue one. I know this one is good, but the one that we got last time was the good orange, the orange one. And um, it's good. The black one, the one that I got previously before that one, wasn't not the best. So I don't know why. I I don't think it's the cooking. I think it's the rice. Um, got some little bit of sugar. Um, I this time I got ten liters of oil. I got Avina Kajitas and Crush Fries Kajitas So I think in the next maybe 2-3 to three months or rather the rest of the year I don't think I need to buy oil again or maybe buy one more um, 5 kgs something something I think that one should last us the full year uh, I got some hot avocados and some red grapes These ones are very very sweet from Kapo again these half avocados have never disappointed me, that's why I keep going back the way. Uh, let me show you the cold things, the frozen things. This time I didn't buy sausages and bacon. I bought uh, the Kawaii Choma sausages and um, this one's from Kenchi. The ones that have been advertised a lot. Let me just show you. A minute. So when I came with these ones, I just put them in the fridge and um, I got two of these. This is the Lion's Fusion yogurt. I got two of them assorted, but um, we already opened one. So, this. And then the Choma packaging. My favorite ham. These are the sausages I'm talking about. The Kenchik Hungarian Choma sausages are very nice and spicy. Have a very nice kick. So I got two of those. And I figured 
Uh, there's no need to buy sausages this time around, maybe next month because we still have some leftover sausages and now this, I feel like this is enough so yeah so this is it for the cold stuff I also have some few things that I got outside the supermarket So I restocked on these color trappers. By the way, these things help help a lot, especially when you have small loads of different um, colors. This this helps because you do like a whole big load with several colors inside, and your clothes still come out um, okay. First of all, let me talk about last time when I was doing laundry and gave me the thing. Funny enough, my clothes didn't come out um, ruined. I had two sheets inside, so I thank God that I did that because eh, I was so, so, so heartbroken when I imagined that the clothes that I put inside there were going to come out ruined. So I have to that and I also. Shit. Oh yeah. I thought it was the wrong, was the wrong centimeter. I really, really love this. Called summer fantasy from Dr. Extra. So I stocked on this and the color paper sheet. This one along the side. And I think that is oh, this is also this. These ones I got from Best Lady. I see the caps are off. So I've been looking for this. They're called what? Arbor. Reveler, this is the for the woman though it doesn't it's different from it's different from this one but I don't understand why. Uh oh okay so this is Reveler, this is artist um both for women. I've been looking for these things for a long time in Chandarana. I used to think they're only found in Chandarana, but um recently I got to go to this lady and I bumped into them so I got the two. I've seen the men one and I actually have I think I have a bottle. My husband doesn't like it. <laughs> so I occasionally use it. But I love this one. This one is it's a very it's a very citrusy laid back scent and uh, this this is this is more i don't know how to describe this one but it's a bit stronger than this one and i like them both because i've already tried them um and then i got this this one i got from you see this what are they called something a shelf rent a shelf shops i had gone to get some buns for ella so i bumped into this one and i got this is what i'm using right now but i still have like um some remaining but i decided to stop it regardless so this is the antiperspirant and deodorant bear gloves old spice bear gloves um stick deodorant stick it's a deodorant and an antiperspirant yeah so these ones now belong here so yeah that is it for our shopping for this month and i believe this is enough to take us um through next month i also got um another 3.5 kgs of omo that we've already opened so i don't think i'm going to be buying um omo or or um soap anytime soon at least it's, i feel like one one pack of 3.5 kgs of omo gets us for like two months and I have bought like seven because I got the sunlight and I got the Omo the 3.5 ones. So I think those ones are going to last us till the end of the year. So, oh, and I also have some diapers here. You know, funny thing, you would imagine when you go to the supermarket, you'd imagine that when you buy the bigger packs of everything, it's cheaper. But when I did the math, it doesn't really work like that. And I don't know why, because logically speaking the more you buy the cheaper it's supposed to be but it's the less you buy the cheaper it is for the 
uh, diapers. I got, let me just show you. So, all these are diapers. The um, size six ones I got. What one is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine packs. This is the seven piece of pack. When I just I just decided to do some random math in the supermarket. When you look at the big, they didn't have the super the jumbo one. They had the medium one. And when you look at when you compare the price of the medium one and the price of this per piece, this one is cheaper by ten shillings per piece. So I figured I am going to buy the small ones. I will look for somewhere to keep them but um definitely selling at the end of the day so yeah sometimes do the math you would think that when you're buying the small one i mean the big one you're actually saving you're probably actually spending more so yeah thank you for joining me don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one I also got a cookie from Kafo since it was customer service week and it was really nice. Good morning guys. So on today's breakfast entry we are going to do plantain and bacon. So I've just put my can of oil on fire.
I had missed taking tea with sugar instead of my sweetener, so today I decided to do sugar. And our breakfast was ready. Hi guys, good morning. So today is on Saturday and um, oh, first of all, we made our hair yesterday. I did this, um, this was on Saturday, so I did it yesterday and I also changed my name. I think I had a really, really nice friend and I also had a very nice face. It refused to go down. But anyway, yeah, so we had this installed yesterday and I love it. I hope it's going to serve me for a while. Um, nails, red. Okay. Yeah, so I did a small bit yesterday that I wanted to try. And it's, are you guys feeling this heat? Like it is so, so hot. I don't think that I can't. I can't usually um, record my videos when I have to close my windows. But I cannot, I can't survive those videos right now. It is so hot. Anyway, and we are in Kiambu. We are not even in Kiambu. We are in Kiambu. We are in Kiambu. We are more or less bothered in Kiambu. We are slightly cooler, but it is it seems hot. Anyway, so that's besides the point. So, um, let me show you guys what I got and then do a try on. I don't think I've ever done this before. First, so let's see how it goes. So these are the clothes that I got. Um, I got one blazer, I think two or three pairs of skirts, um, three dresses, a bunch of tops, and the two jackets that you can see over there. Those ones were gifted to me by a special friend, so I'm going to include them in the try in the try on. And the green skirt that you can see over there, that one is new. It's not gifted. So let us begin. So I started by pairing the skirt and the blazer together. For some reason, when I was pairing them together, it didn't really look nice. But I can see from the video that it was actually not that bad. Uh, and I also realized my audio wasn't the best. So I decided to do voiceovers. <laughs> so don't worry when the lip syncing is not um, syncing. Yeah, so I felt like the two are not going well, but I could see that they were. So that is um, an option. I wanted to try on the skirt with a slightly um, darker uh, mustard that I have, a mustard top that I have, but I realized I didn't have it in the closet. I think it was on the other bedroom and Ella was asleep, so I didn't want to go and wake her up. But yeah, uh, basically, I was satisfied with the... With the combination though if you know me i rarely put on pleated skirts especially skirts uh that are between my like below my knee and uh between my ankles and my knees i don't like those heights i like my clothes either higher up just above my knee or way 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 below down my ankles so yeah we this is a new territory and i hope it works so this is the second dress this is a michael Kors dress and it's a chic dress i like it it looked really really nice on me fitted perfectly um this is a type of dress i think that you go with maybe to work and then <laughs> you just put on a red lipstick if you don't have time to come home and shower and change and slide into Sharehe. I feel like it's perfect. It's the perfect dress for Fridays, midweeks. Yeah. I also loved the color combination, the purple and the black. It really, really complements each other very well. So this is a third dress and it also it was also fitting very very well. One of those Friday um, midweek dresses I liked the contrast between the green and the black and yeah it was really nice I felt like at least for a change I've bought clothes that are not too big and not too small and they fit almost perfectly I 
I decided to try and pair one of the jackets that I had with the dress and the jackets kind of dressed uh, the dress down it made it a bit more casual you could do this um, with a pair of canvas and you're good to go on a Saturday um, afternoon yeah just to do errands or to do whatever it made sense so this is one of the other dresses that I got and funny thing when I looked at this dress I imagined it would fit me because I didn't fit it um, at the shop but now that I have put it on, it's too tight around the hip area, so I don't think it's going to be comfortable for me. I'm probably just going to give it away or keep it until I lose my baby weight that has stayed for almost two years. So this is another outfit. It's a sort of a blue, dark blue and some light blue top and the um, dark blue skirt that I feel like the height is off so what I'm going to do I'm going to take it to a fundi to reduce the slit a little bit and just leave um, a that amount of slit but I feel like the two go well together so I think this is a match I've paired the same skirt with a different Top. and I feel like they're okay they might not be the perfect match but they are okay together uh, I'm still going to do something about that skirt, the height and the amount of sleep that it has but basically so far so good so this is another pair of top and skirt that I feel like go very very well together I had not buttoned the blouse completely that's why I was holding on to it but yeah this i can say is a perfect pair i paired the same skirt with another um sort of a beige top and it also went very very well with the skirt so again we've gotten another perfect match So I threw on one of the other jackets that I had, the cream one. I wasn't trying to really pair them but just fitting it to see how it fit and it was so comfortable, fit so perfectly like I've never had jackets fit me this perfectly. The two are a match for my body made in heaven. So I tried to pair the yellow jacket with a different kind of outfit and it came out okay. I might maybe decide to uh, change the beige top with maybe a white one. Maybe it would make the whole outfit pop. But so far, generally I am happy with all the pieces that I got. I'm just going to maybe take the start with the overly ambitious slit to the fundi to try and reduce the slit and maybe uh, cut it kidogo so that the height is just above my knee yeah but basically I'm happy with everything else thank you for watching as always don't forget to share like and subscribe we are on the road to a thousand subs